I'm Fox 4's Anvar Ruziev here in North Fort Myers, right off the Edison Bridge. Here, two neighbors are working to get rid of a person whom they say is squatting on their land. I told him he could stay in the camper for a short period of time, and then in started coming the trash. A disclaimer, this person, Heather Rowe, is a Fox 4 employee. Yet along with the trash, fines of $250 per day could also follow. This is one of the three code violations that Rose said she had received from the Lee County Code Enforcement Office because of the squatter who took up residence on her property. The police have been here 10 times at least, and they tell me the same thing over and over. It's a civil problem, and I need to wait for the courts. Hurricane Ian destroyed her home, and in the rebuild, this man, Barry Bollard, admitted to visiting her house. She didn't even know. Like, we just stayed here and we would leave by 2 o'clock because she'd be here. We asked why he hasn't left yet. A Bollard said that he's waiting on a car part and that he expects his truck to be up and running in three days. Wait on a part. The situation hasn't only affected Roe. Other neighbors say they've had problems with the squatter and his pet. I've had to call animal control and everything, and it, it's, it's, it's getting very old. After going through a hurricane and losing everything I had, and this happens, this is horrible. I don't need to look out my window like I'm living in an alley. As it won't lead to an easy weekend, as people here say that they'll spend the Saturday picking up all of the trash left behind. Reporting from North Fort Myers, Anvar Ruziev, Fox 4.